Have you ever found yourself drawn to the macabre, fascinated by the darkest corners of the human psyche? Prepare to be immersed in the chilling world of true crime as we unravel the top 10 most terrifying tales of serial killers. What drives these individuals to commit such heinous acts? Join us on a journey through the depths of depravity as we explore the minds of the most dangerous serial killers in history. Number 1. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy, often portrayed as the epitome of evil, possessed a magnetic charm and striking appearance that belied the darkness lurking within. Operating across multiple states in the 1970s, Bundy confessed to the brutal murders of at least 30 young women, though the true extent of his atrocities may never be fully known. His adeptness at blending seamlessly into society allowed him to evade capture for years, confounding law enforcement agencies and leaving communities in a state of perpetual fear and uncertainty. Bundy's modus operandi, characterized by manipulation and deceit, revealed the depths of his depravity and showcased the chilling reality that evil often wears a mask of charm and charisma. Number 2. Jeffrey Dahmer the Milwaukee Cannibal, Jeffrey Dahmer, is a name that evokes terror and revulsion in those acquainted with his monstrous acts. Prowling the streets of Milwaukee during the late 20th century, Dahmer earned the chilling moniker for his unfathomable deeds of necrophilia and cannibalism. Over a span of 13 years, Dahmer callously ended the lives of 17 young men, subjecting them to unimaginable horrors before dismembering their bodies. The gruesome details of his crimes sent shockwaves across the nation, leaving an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of society. The sheer brutality and depravity of Dahmer's actions serve as a stark reminder of the depths of human evil and the fragility of innocence in the face of unspeakable darkness. Number 3. John Wayne Gacy The Killer Clown, John Wayne Gacy, epitomized the chilling concept of duality hiding a sinister persona behind a facade of joviality. Operating within the confines of Chicago during the tumultuous 1970s, Gacy gained infamy as the killer clown due to his unsettling penchant for donning the guise of Pogo the Clown at children's events. Yet behind the painted smile and colorful costume lurked a sadistic predator, preying upon vulnerable young boys whom he lured to their untimely deaths. Gacy's ability to seamlessly navigate between his role as a respected member of the community and his secret life as a depraved killer sent shockwaves reverberating through society when the truth of his heinous deeds finally came to light. The revelation of Gacy's double life shattered illusions of safety and trust, serving as a grim reminder that evil often wears a mask of normalcy, lurking just beneath the surface of the familiar. Number 4. Aileen Warnos the highway serial killer, Aileen Warnos, embodies a tragic narrative of despair and descent into darkness. From her troubled beginnings in a tumultuous family environment to being thrust into a life of prostitution at a tender age, Warnos' path was fraught with adversity and trauma. However, it was her festering rage and deep-seated scars that eventually erupted into a chilling killing spree that sent shockwaves through Florida during the late 1980s. Dubbed the Highway Serial Killer, Warnus confessed to the brutal murders of seven men, alleging that each had assaulted her while she worked as a prostitute. Her case forced society to confront uncomfortable questions about the complex interplay of mental illness, trauma, and societal neglect, challenging preconceived notions of culpability and empathy. In Warnus's tragic story, we find a haunting reminder of the cyclical nature of violence and the profound impact of untreated trauma on the human psyche. Number 5. Richard Ramirez The Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, stands as a chilling testament to the terror that can be unleashed by one individual. During the tumultuous 1980s in Los Angeles, Ramirez earned the dreaded moniker for his relentless reign of terror. Under the cover of darkness, he brazenly invaded homes, subjecting his victims to unspeakable acts of violence and horror. The mere mention of his name sent shivers down the spines of Angelinos, as Ramirez's random and brutal attacks kept an entire city gripped in fear and paranoia. 
His ability to strike seemingly at will highlighted the vulnerability of urban communities and the profound impact of one man's reign of terror on the collective psyche. Despite the chaos and devastation he wrought, Ramirez's eventual capture brought a sense of relief and closure to a city haunted by the specter of his crimes, though the scars left behind serve as a sobering reminder of the fragility of safety and security in the face of unfathomable evil. Number 6. Gary Ridgway The Green River Killer Gary Ridgway's unassuming demeanor masked a dark and deadly secret. Operating in the Pacific Northwest during the 1980s and 1990s, Ridgway targeted vulnerable women, primarily sex workers and runaways, whom he viewed as disposable. His calculated approach to murder allowed him to evade capture for decades, making him one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. Ridgway's case serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk beneath the surface of seemingly ordinary individuals. Number 7. Ed Gein The butcher of Plainfield Ed Gein's crimes inspired some of Hollywood's most iconic horror films, but the reality was far more disturbing than fiction. Living in rural isolation in Plainfield, Wisconsin, Jane exhumed corpses from local graveyards and fashioned gruesome trophies from their remains. His macabre collection included clothing made from human skin and furniture crafted from human bones. Gein's twisted desires and grotesque acts shocked the nation and left a lasting imprint on popular culture. Number 8. Andre Chikatilo The Rostov Ripper, Andre Chikatilo's reign of terror in the Soviet Union during the 1980s left a nation gripped by fear, targeting women and children. Chikatilo's insatiable bloodlust knew no bounds as he brutally murdered and mutilated his victims. His crimes remained unsolved for years, despite the efforts of law enforcement, leading to widespread panic and paranoia. Chikatilo's eventual capture and subsequent trial shed light on the dark underbelly of Soviet society and the complexities of criminal psychology. Number 9. Dennis Rader The BTK killer Dennis Rader's sadistic acts of violence terrorized the community of Wichita, Kansas, for over three decades. Operating under the guise of the BTK killer, bind, torture, kill, Raider taunted authorities with cryptic messages and disturbing letters detailing his crimes. His meticulous planning and cold-blooded demeanor allowed him to evade capture for years, striking fear into the hearts of his victims and their loved ones. Raider's eventual arrest brought closure to a community haunted by decades of uncertainty and fear. Number 10. Pedro Alonso Lopez The monster of the Andes Pedro Alonso Lopez's reign of terror across South America earned him the chilling title of the Monster of the Andes. Confessing to the murders of over 300 young girls, Lopez's crimes shocked the world and left a continent reeling in horror. His ability to evade capture for years highlighted the challenges of law enforcement in remote and impoverished regions, where justice often remained elusive. Lopez's case serves as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by serial predators and the importance of vigilance in protecting the most vulnerable members of society. As we conclude our journey into the darkest recesses of the human psyche, we're left with a profound sense of unease and disbelief. The tales of these notorious serial killers serve as a chilling reminder of the capacity for evil that resides within us all. If you found this exploration of true crime both fascinating and unsettling, be sure to subscribe for more spine-tingling content. Until next time, stay vigilant, and never forget that monsters can lurk in the most unexpected places.